We're here today in Pornishan, Louisiana with our Floating Isles project. We're creating new land in open water using this technology of these floating mats with a grass planted in it that are going to be anchored out here behind us. And you can see some of the assembled units here in the background. We're happy to be here with our other partners today. We have a lot of volunteers here from Shell. We have volunteers here from some of the local schools. We have the local community here. This is a Native American community down here. We were able to do this, a $150,000 project, in less than two years with private funding and gifts from people like the CCA. And we were able to own hands with our local kids, uh, Shell Pipeline, CCA volunteers, uh, just volunteers, 4-H volunteers from all around the parish. So this is going to be a grassroots type thing. The reason we're doing it in this particular area is that with about $150 million of the coastal restoration going on in the parish of Terrebonne, this is probably the only spot you can drive to it and see it work, at work. We'll be able to actually see it being done, watch it build and do its project, what it's supposed to do in the years to come, and hopefully it'll work as we expect it to. CCA was our, our benefactor who actually started the project. We uh, were looking for funding to actually get this thing off the ground, and when CCA stepped in, the funding showed up to be able to they actually start the project. And since then, we've had other corporate sponsors jump in because the project was underway. We have a couple of schools, local schools, from uh, the Point of Shan area and Montague in Terrebonne Parish. We also have some employees from Shell Pipeline Company who are planting these uh, floating islands. And they're, they're made out of recycled plastic bottles. Uh, so it's an, uh, it's an environmentally friendly product. Uh, and then they're, they're planting two types of grass. They're planting smooth cord grass and seashore pass palum, uh, which is grown locally here in Pointe-Chant. And uh, they, they, the plants were bred to be more salt tolerant. Uh, so they're, they're ready to go in this, this pretty hostile, salty environment. Uh, and, and what we're hoping to do here, it's a multifaceted approach to this project. Uh, we're, we're directly rebuilding you know, some habitat for our fish and our, our wildlife. Uh, by putting the vegetation back where there used to be vegetation, now it's all open water. Uh, and we're also putting these islands uh, in, in a strategic location uh, away from the shoreline in hopes to uh, accrete some sediment between the islands and, and the existing marsh. Uh, and we're also hoping to have a bit of protection for the road, uh, island road here, which serves uh, Ile de Jean Charles, which is a, a culturally rich uh, lo location in Terrebonne Parish uh, with our, the Native American communities here. <laughs>